Becoming a Better Mentor Strategies to be there for young people Effective conversations about behavior change When we see a young person doing something that is not good for them or wrong, our first instinct may be to yell, lecture, or shake our heads in shame. If we approach conversations about behavior change as helping to right the wrong we see in others, we run the risk of making behavior change less likely. This writing reflex was coined by doctors William Miller and Stephen Rolnick and can present itself in many ways, such as giving unsolicited advice, like if you run every day, you will get faster. Moralizing, like cursing is wrong, you should stop. Sharing a warning, like, don't you know that vaping will kill you? All writing reflexes share one common feature. The motivation for change comes from the person doing the writing, not the person who could benefit from changing their behavior. To be more effective in supporting behavior change, start by creating a mentoring atmosphere filled with compassion and acceptance. Try to understand your mentee's values. Ask them, how would you like your life to be different in the coming months? Once you've established an atmosphere of acceptance, you can begin focusing the conversation. A structure you could use is based on the acronym DARN, which stands for Desire, Ability, Reasons, and Needs. Desires are statements that express the advantages of change. For example, your mentee might express, I want to join the track team and be with my friends. Ability statements reflect the confidence of the mentee to make the change. For example, your mentee might share, I could totally stop vaping, I'm not addicted. Reasons for change are typically represented in if-then statements. If I could control my anger, I would curse less. These might be things that your mentee may not really want, but that they can recognize is true. Needs are often expressed with statements that include words like, I have to, or I must. For example, I have to stop cursing so much. If your mentee is motivated to change, identifies the change as consistent with their own values, and expresses interest in changing, then it might be time to begin planning for change. You can work with your mentee to create a plan that makes sense for them. To your mentee, it should feel like, no matter what, I can count on my mentor to treat me with respect, dignity, and kindness. See the full chapter at mentoring.org slash better mentor for more tips on how you can be a better mentor.